Junior Pope was killed before the boat capsized. More secrets revealed. If you don't like scary story, then this video is not for you. Nollywood actor drops more evidence about Junior Pope early demise. You are going to watch a lot of videos in this very video which will leave you speechless with your mouth wide open with speech dropping down to your jaws. <laughs> Guys, believe me, you won't believe the videos you're about to watch. This video will be an eye-opener about what has been happening in Nollywood industry. This Junior Pope demise has finally exposed a lot of things, including the dark side of Nollywood as a whole. This is unbelievable. Different Nollywood actors and actresses has finally come out to expose Nollywood without fear. How many of you know this guy here? This guy's name is Zubi Maike. Now you are wondering what has Zubi Maike got to do with what happened to Junior Pope? lot of life you will find out keep watching how many of you know this actress angela okoro this lady has set the internet on fire as she decided to open a darkest part of nollywood after exposing zubi maike concerning junior pope <laughs> things are happening the soul that was lost with junior pope that was buried before in the river something just happened to it that is trending just relax you will watch every video one after the other the producer be behind the movie that claimed a lot of life has come out to share her own side of the story and believe me you will like to hear what she said also an ex nollywood actress has come out to expose what happened to her and her colleagues on their way to become actress in the nollywood industry like this is evil don't watch this part if you don't like scary story like what's the f things are really happening now we are going to start watching the videos one after the other don't skip anyone for better understanding it took me so much time and research to bring these videos to you guys please as you're watching this video Please like this video, subscribe if you have not subscribed and hit that bell icon, it won't cost your data and God bless you as you do. Thanks. Now let's talk about the Zubi Maike and Junior Pope saga before we proceed to other videos. Junior Pope was allegedly Zubi Maike boss in the movie industry before the fame. Also Zubi Maike was Junior Pope best man on his wedding day. But since Junior Pope demise news, Zubi Maike has not reacted or posted anything about it with fans knowing their histories. Fans began to drag Zubi Maike, which is that blog made a post about it and something surprising happened. Angela Okoye, a popular Nollywood actress, commented this. Them no born and wet to post Junior Pope. He knows why he is running. Nollywood knows his story with Junior Pope. Nigga be fighting everyone because he wanna be the number one of Nollywood. Mind you, Junior Pope, Nazubi Oga, that's not all. Watch this video. Me, go come outside, open the nyan. <laughs> All of them are on they do bad, bad things for this industry. On a go to kill people, innocent souls. We don't do on anything. On a figure, on a fist, on a get money, pass them. On a get everything, pass them. On a go to do or you go to subdue people. Number one, Zubi Michael. Wait, 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 wait. If you know this Angela Okoro, you know that this lady is fearless and she is bold enough. Like she says everything without being afraid. And she has vowed to uh, like expose everything about Nollywood. Please get your earpiece. If you are not with earpiece, get your headset. As you are looking for that, let's continue with other news before we continue with what Angelo Kuri have to say about Nollywood and many secrets that she revealed. This was dragged Junior Pop down that water, held him there till he couldn't make it anymore. Dragged him down, held him that he was struggling with the pet clothes. Yeah. This is us. What an carrying knife. Why was Junior Pope's clothes torn when he was brought out of the water? Why does it seem like somebody dragged Junior Pope Modo's demise? The more I'm convinced that Junior Pope did not drown in that water, person I am. But who was that? Nobody knows. Good news. The video you are seeing on your screen now, I want to play it for you to watch. This lady you are seeing on your screen right now, her name is Abigail, and she is one of the victims that passed away with Junior Pope on the boat incident. It was alleged that before you take anybody that passed away in that river, you will pay 30 to 40 million naira to do the needful. So after her parents couldn't afford the money requested, she was laid to rest in the riverside following the river rules. But surprisingly, her state government insisted and cleared up the debt and her body was exhumed and was taken to her hometown for proper burial. Watch the video guys. <laughs> Mm, you could see the father now. See, look at the father. The father is on green. The father of Abigail. The native up. Okay, yeah. Native green up. And the man on green, on native green. Go from small. So now they will see the man. That is Abigail's father on native green up and down. That is Abigail's father on native green. The man has a very strong heart.
So finally, Abigail was there to rest on her hometown, Akwa Ibom State. Hopefully, other people, state governments will do the same. And Junior Pope body, nothing has been done yet. We are staying on it. So let's proceed to other videos. It was alleged that TV virus, one of the passengers with Junior Pope inside the boat, awakened the sea goddess spirit by ringing the bell while on the boat without knowing that it's forbidden to do so. Because that day was a particular day inside four market days in the village where the river was located, according to the villagers. Um, all this matter has in view, but nobody is guilty or is proving guilty by the right authorities. Now, watch the video I'm about to play you. It's about Nollywood actress Destiny Etiko. Why morning junior poop? It was alleged that another self acclaimed prophet saw a vision when the snake passed away. Mind you, same thing happened to junior poop. I uploaded that video previously. So, this is what Destiny Etiko has to say after getting the message. And then, as we're crying about our losses and all the things that we've been passing through, another one surfaced, you know, about prophecies. I know. But for me, prophecies are for redemption. Whatever it is that anyone, be you a pastor, be you a native man, or whatever you are, whatever you serve, whatever you, whenever you see anything about anybody and it's being said out, it's for redemption. God, uh, God opens the eyes of people that sees to say it out for you to be redeemed. What are you name him? What are you figure man? Watch what come. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of destiny. Nothing can ever happen to me. I'm a strong woman. I know just that. My, my, my people are strong. My guardian angels are strong. The people who God, who God sent after me to take care of me are strong. So nothing will happen to me. But the most important thing is that whatever it is that you serve, serve it with everything you have. And most importantly, do not hurt anybody. Because when you hurt people, and they try to hurt you, you can't escape it. But when you don't hurt anyone, my late father once told me, my child, let your hands be clean. Once your hands are clean, no evil shall ever befall you. Onye neme ne mungye. Manambosobuna imegide werumato. Don't even ever be seen in a table where they are planning to do wrong to anybody. Don't ever be seen. Because the day you try it, that is the day you begin to experience your downfall. And those words have been stamped into my head. I want to use this medium to cover everybody on this life with the blood of Jesus. And I pray that God Almighty in His infinite mercy will continue to bless each and every one of us. We shall never die a painful death. We shall never be victims of circumstance. For the past, um, it's, it's up to three days now, that we lost, we lost precious people. Where is it from now? You will get to understand and, and realize that this life is nothing. Come for why don't you only you are bold. There's, there's, there's nothing here. There's nothing. All of us, I know, I know, I know. But the, the question is, the one you know, take his way near. You want to go? So let's. I don't want to go further because I don't want to discuss anything or talk about anything that had to do with our past experience these past few days because it's quite traumatizing. I've not slept well. That's why I'm on Google. I have not slept well. I have not, not risen well. I'm begin, I'm just realizing. I'm just asking questions like, what do I come out of What do I look at that? What do I look at that? Somebody man, no worry if I am there. Nothing, nothing. You just woke up in the morning, take you know, have your bath, eat food, and then go out to work hard to be able to put food on the table of your family, and then, it's so painful. Still attentively to what this guy has to say, he opened a lot of things in this video. Before we proceed to other videos, let's watch this video first. Let's go. Hi, friends. I hardly okay. speak, I hardly come to social media okay. to talk. But this time around, I need to speak, I need to talk. Hmm. 
Because what killed Junior Pope is not even the boat capsized or something, no. That is not the ontological of his hmm. death. Ontological? Junior Pope died many years ago. Junior Pope was killed by our producers. Yes, the major producers killed oh. Junior Pope. The cartel, they killed Junior Pope. Ah. I am saying this because nobody is feeding me and nobody okay. can feed me. I'm already made and I'm made for life. I am bigger than hmm. all of them. Bigger, far bigger than serious. all of them. People that knows me will testify to that. Our producers killed Gino Pope. How did they okay, kill him? Let me come. tell you. Let's listen. Okay. Let's listen. listen. When mm. I came to Nollywood, when I saw Gino Pope, the way people outside see him is not the way he I is in Nollywood. Gino Pope is struggling to survive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our producers, they blacklisted him and so okay. many others. Junior Pope don't see work in Asaba. He hustled outside in Uwere, Lagos to work, to put food on his table. Most people, mm -hmm. if not for E-Money, E-Money bought him his car. Junior Pope was driving one Jalopi car like that when I came to Asaba. E-Money, case. E-Money bought e him a car, a good car, the one that he's using now for, for, for the past Four years now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Junior Pope is a hustler. Everybody shouting, uh, Adam Maluk, Adam Maluk, Adam Maluk killed Junior so Pope. How? Or... Are you people are you people giving him job? Nobody's giving him job. That's why he's going to Anam to shoot. Because if Junior Pope is busy, like every other artist here in Asaba, what will he be doing in Anam? Even just like me, I can't go to Anam for one billion. Why? How? Even with the life jacket? Huh. Yes, I can't. How much do you have to pay me to go to Anam? If, I, if I'm to go to Anam now, go with divers, so many things. With so the person that even gave him a job tried. It's not easy. How many producers are giving that guy a job? Go and check. You guys know big producers in Asaba. Go and check their page. You hardly see huh. Junior Pope put me anywhere if not for content creating facebook that's how junior pope was able to build a house after 30 years in the industry go and check from facebook junior pope is star in the eyes of the world but inside nollywood is nobody his fee is like upcomers fee others are collecting one million one point but junior pope is collecting p not only one guy that I know that is pushing him Ikechi. back to back Ikechi. without rest. Even when other people are fighting him, he will write script, they will tell him that we can't use Junior Pope. He will insist. Ike Chukumweke. Ike Bobo. God bless you. God bless you. You are the only person that is worthy to say rest in peace. Other people are just creating content. content Put me peace. anywhere. That's the truth. Bitter truth. I'm saying this because nobody's feeding me. Nollywood cannot even That's feed me. Yes, I am made before I came to Nollywood. I'm already made before I came to Nollywood. Nollywood, the whole Nollywood, I'm bigger than the whole Nollywood. Joke apart. True life story now. That's why I'm saying this. Nobody can say it because they believe that if I say this one, they will not give me a job tomorrow. Kill you with your job. To hell with you with your job. How much are you going to pay me? How much do you have to pay me? The fame I'm looking for, I've, I've, I've already gotten it. I've already gotten it. People snap with me anywhere I go. Like superstar. Yes. What else? How much are you going to pay me? You people killed, killed Junior Pope. You people killed Junior Pope. Because if Junior Pope is seeing himself as a star, he cannot, can never enter a boat without life jacket. He doesn't know his value. 
people out there see him as a big star, but he, he, inside as about yeah, he's a nobody. Let's that's the truth. That's the fact. Yes, that's the truth. And many people are still going through the in process now. Maybe most of the elders, people, people, people see them as stars, but they are nobody. They are collecting peanuts. Most big stars like non like junior poop. Go and check their 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 their, their, their di go and check their this thing. They don't have chance from now to June next year. They are fully booked. Junior poop is going to Anam because of so what? no job for him, no good job for him, no good pay for him. That's the truth. Yes. Somebody, you know, Pope is a big star. He has stayed in Hollywood for many years. E money bought him a car. E money. E money bought him e a car. Facebook made him build his house, finished it last year after 30 years in Hollywood because you people blacklisted him. Now you are posting him and crying. Whereas you killed him. What kind of life is this? You people are there creating content up and down. What did you do for him when he was alive? Nothing. Nothing. You did nothing for him. Now you're crying. You know, poor, you know, poor. I said the only person I know that pushed him is Ike Bobo. Ike Chumweke. Go and check. You will never see Junior Pope who worked with any big star in Asaba. People like uh, people like uh, uh, Fred Gluna. You can never see him work with them because big producers can never pay them. It's not possible. You people killed him. Now you people are crying. Yeah. Crying for what? Is Junior Pope busy and he's going to Anam to shoot for what? So that is it. Junior Pope was frustrated. He doesn't know his value. That's why he was able to enter that boat without life jacket. Yes. He doesn't want to lose that job. The job is so important to him. That was why he died. Please, our producers, it's high time you people turn a new leaf. The ones that still have conscience. And thank you, Ike Bobo, for pushing him as much as you can as a director and scriptwriter. And thank you, E Money, for always helping him whenever he runs to you because you always help him. He said it to me someday that E Money always helped him. I am not afraid of losing jobs, no. And I'm not afraid of losing my life because all of us will die soon. It's inevitable. Death is inevitable. No matter how strong you are, Jesus you Christ must die. Nobody will live here forever. Nobody. Yes, that is it. Gino Pope died out of frustration. He is struggling to meet up with his mates. When his mates are shooting here, he's running up and down to make sure he's shooting. Not like he's not good. Just that he, he was blacklisted. So that is it. That's what killed Junior Pope. 98% of our producers contributed to his death. Quote me anyway. You can come to Asaba and verify. Or call one or two people you know in the industry. They will tell you. But nobody can say this outside me. Nobody. They don't burn you well. If you know, if you talk, if that they collect you spiritually or they collect you physically. <laughs> but who I be now? I be that Agama lizard. That was trans the trans cool, trans amadi, trans mama, trans papa by the council of the chief faces at area the hammer. Venue V, Moment M, Occasion O, Placement P, Before the Chief oh. Valentino, Edina Noku, Party 2, Blessment 2, Michael Kukunot, and China okay. Miss on Power 6. Power 6 to try and see more and still remember uh, myself. The major in the Buski. So nobody try and no see my calability and remain the same. I 
can vibrate from this time as the infinity. I can say anything from now the okay. infinity without any kung fu kung fu or okay. be deep in or be deep in fire me and I will water you. I'll be the shaker, Junior Pope. Rest in peace, my brother. You tried, you struggled. Nollywood rejected ah. you. You still make it. It's not easy. It's not easy. Thank you, Abra. Thank you, Abra. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's proceed to other videos, but before then, let me summarize what the producer of the movie that caused the junior pope early demise said in few set sentences. We are out of time, we have a lot of videos to watch. The producer, her name is Adam Maluk. The said movie producer made a video where she said, number one, she said that junior pope was given a life jacket, but he refused to wear it saying that it was dirty. And she never worked with junior pope before, if not that his wife, which is her friend, asks her why she's not giving her husband a job, which after some conservation, she agreed to give her husband a job, which resulted to this situation at hand. Number two, she said when the boat capsized, junior pope was alive and was even asking whether everyone is okay. And he was giving a gallon, which prevented him from sinking. But when the crew member got to a safe place. Junior Pope was nowhere to be found. Okay, enough. Do you know in a viral video where Junior Pope was recruited, his clothes were stopped? Was that a fight or disagreement that led to this situation? What truly happened to Junior Pope? We will find out. Are you ready for this? The all the secret that Angela Okori exposed about Zubi Mike and Nollywood at large, and the ex Nollywood actress that came out boldly and shared a lot of scary story about her experience in Nollywood, how they were taken to forest, like many things, many things they did to them, and like very, very, very terrible, horrifying stories. So I'm going to upload that video in my next video because this very video is getting long, which I don't like. So for you not to miss it, like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. So what I, once I upload you'll be notified so for now drop your opinion based on all the video you just watched and expect my new video soon i remember about just call for the gcv and i'm out peace